As many methods in leatherwork have various ways to be to achieve something, uh, getting your pattern down on the leather also has a few different ways. The one that most people will be familiar with is to have your design, then take um, a mylar-like tracing film and a sharpie pen. You trace your design onto the film, tracing film, and now you can use a sharp-tipped stylus and trace down your design. And that works really nice, and there you go. But I recently came across a different way of doing it. So here is just a quick design I quickly drew. Um, and I want to put that on numerous items, so I want to reuse it. So what was suggested was this stuff. And I bought it at Walmart uh, really easy. I think it was five bucks for a massive roll of it. Any case, so it's a, a, it's a self-adhesive film. And um, the suggestion I saw on Facebook was first that you put this on the back of the leather so that it would not stretch. But... I found that or the, the lady who suggested this then said, no, you can also use it for um, kind of new tracing film. So I peeled off the paper side of it and I'm going to put this, whoop, it jumped up. It's static. Oh, let me... Get it on there, so I've got it on there. Now, I initially thought that you would put this on the back side of the pattern, and then you can just draw on the pattern. But she said, no, there's a better way. You put this on both sides. So, peel this off, and put a layer on the uh, uh, other side too um, there we go and hopefully you haven't got bubbles and now it's encased my paper pattern is encased in those two layers and Something that works nice now is I just cut the edges off so that where I wasn't very precise, there's no stickiness or anything. And you will see one other thing. I cut out that paper pattern. I left a little bit of margin around the edges, but I basically cut it out um, close to the design. This is so that when I have it on the leather, I can position it easily. Um, so I can take my leather, decide where and how it has to fit on the leather. And once I've got it down there, decided that's where it goes. Now I can trace it down. And <clears throat> I want to show you a few ways of tracing too. So this is a, a very often found one, um, sharper tip on, on this side and a little ball on the other side. Um, so this works well. Um, the other thing that I like to use is a very sharp tip ballpoint pen that has lost its ink. So that allows you to have a, a, a more smooth rolling 
working because the ball is still in the air and it's still rolling. So. And it, because it has a sharp tip with a very fine ink, fine tip ink, so I've got a nice, smooth, fine Way right there. Okay, so I probably don't have to show you the whole thing, but almost done. Okay, and there she is all neatly traced and this i'll be able to use over and over and over again um, and without it being da damaged or anything still quite nice and fine so hope this helps you uh, a lot it's um certainly cuts out the one uh step where you have to put the tracing film onto your design first trace it onto the tracing film and then oh and uh, by the way i do wash my hands but that was evil fibbing's alcohol-based dye that climbed out of the bottle a few days ago and um, is really hard to get rid of um, that's why i prefer water-based dyes have fun with your leather and I'll see you next time.